All right. Because the face face tracking, you know, it's on. <laughs> this stupid, stupid <laughs> gimbal. Yeah. All right. Let's let's do it anyway. Okay. All right. I don't know which one to look at now. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I'll just be more here. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's up, guys? I just finished a big long fucking hike with uh, with a past client of mine, Daniel. Yep. So hello, guys. I'm Daniel. I'm his past clients. Yeah. So we are fucking exhausted right now, and I'm just gonna ask him some questions and get uh, get his take on what it was like to be working inside of the program is and overcoming his stutter inside of my 10 week program from graduating the program look looking back on the program what do you think inside of those 10 weeks what do you think um has helped you the most in your day-to-day life like what what made the biggest shift oh, i think the biggest help from chase program is um just not be so nervous in life like um, just like stay calm and relax and it helped me a lot actually during work sit situations where i'll get like where a co-worker would like speed up and talk very quick and then i have to stay in my frame kind of how, how you explained it like stay in your frame like don't be um how do you say disturbed by someone else rate of speech like you gotta go at your own pace and uh, yeah so that's what really helped me and um even you know like just every day like when i go out in public like i don't hesitate anymore to ask someone like exactly what i'm thinking yeah before i'll not even like um um i'll not even ask anybody for like directions or where is this where is that like i would always you know keep keep to myself and i was like more like closed off you know from the world and once once uh i did your program it just really helped me to open my view of the world you know that mm. there's so much more in this world than just like keeping to yourself closed yeah, yeah. yeah. damn nice man now that you have have a taste of freedom looking back on it what were you most held back from before the fear of other people thinking that i'm stupid that uh, i'm not smart enough that uh I'm um, not worth it, you know. That's how I felt before this program. And how did that hold you back? How did that hold me back? Um, I would not fully express myself. Like I would, like, like if the, if I would get if I would if I know I would stutter on a word, I would just not say it. Yeah, like <laughs> I would like hold back in in, in those kind of sit- situations. And yeah, like even now, like. I do stutter like sometimes as you guys can see in the interview so do I yeah but that doesn't uh, stop us completely like like a block like a complete block that we cannot continue this interview you mentioned about um yeah just like being able to stutter and keep going and not not being phased by it um to tag on to that how do you feel about your stutter now and um how is your relationship with your stutter now how 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 has that been more beneficial or has it been more more beneficial though the way you feel feel about your stutter now yes so um right now how i feel about my stutter my relationship with it is that um i accept it as being a part of me yeah like i don't uh, deny or push it away like uh, i accept that it's part of me and that if people are not gonna like me because of my stutter then that's fine you know like i don't have to um worry about them like that's that's their problem yeah i cannot change their opinion of me yeah yeah and yeah. and how is how is that beneficial to your life because some people here okay accepting my stutter is something that i don't want to do because that means I'll be held back from it for the rest of my life. But actually, accepting your stutter is such an act of freedom. Um, so, to kind of clear that up, how accepting your stutter is fr- more freeing than denying it at all and trying to act like you don't have one. Um, how is your life different now from when you say you have accepted your stutter ver- versus when you're resisting and trying to avoid stuttering? now that i don't have to resist myself like before 
when I would resist my stutter, I would get caught in blocks and uh, I, I really avoided saying some certain words because I knew I was going to stutter on those particular words. And yeah, my quality of life was like not so good. <laughs> It just gives me more freedom, you know, to speak my mind, yeah? Like, what to, what are my thoughts uh, come out into words, yeah? So that's, yeah. that's how I... Without that, like, fil- without that filter there, right? Yes, Be- without the filter. Because when, when we're in, like, a, stu- a stuttering state, the thoughts to words process comes with, like, thoughts. Then it's like, is this good enough? Will this make them like me? Mm-hmm. Will I be accepted? Will I be rejected? Will they judge me if I say this? And then the version of the words that you speak have been filtered through a bunch of fear and doubt and anxiety, which makes the whole process of speaking very unenjoyable and also makes what you say not authentic anymore because you are forcing out words and forcing out and trying to make someone like you rather than just speaking your truth. Um, My last question to you, Daniel, is what what would you tell yourself or say somebody's thinking about joining the program they're kind of on the fence and they just want to hear something from somebody who's taken the program something that would they they would find val they would find valuable what would you tell this person when they're thinking about joining about joining the program but they're kind of unsure so yeah so if anyone has any doubts about this program like um i I would say there's there there's not really any doubts because this uh, this is a program that's life-changing for me and it can be life-changing for you guys like i don't know how much it helped me in my life but per personally uh pro professionally in my job and yeah just overall my quality of life has been much better so i there there's no doubt just take the program pay pay the guy you know <laughs> just just do it you know just do it man like like the nike logo just do it <laughs> yeah. yeah well fucking right yeah. that's that's really sick there's loud music in the background yeah. but that's right we won't judge the guy because then he won't judge us but we don't care if he judges us Anyway, that's a circle talk. Um, Daniel, awesome to see you in person and awesome for you, for, for, for you to come down. And uh, yeah, this, I was gonna say thanks for doing this, but really you wanted to do this. Like you, yes. you were asking me to do this, yeah. which is the best thing possible. Yeah. So uh, I really appreciate that, man, because I, 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 I think people hearing this, um, it can change some lives Mm -hmm. yeah so thank you man yeah man no problem and uh we don't worry about others people opinion yeah like you just have to work on yourself you know be the better version of yourself every single day so that's what i strive for and that's what you guys should strive for also yeah what we should all strive for hell yeah yeah. all right let's let's uh, let's (laughs) let's go jump in some water we're gonna go swim in this uh ocean pacific ocean so yeah let's go all right peace peace out